Yeah, I've noticed all the cheering Edelman was getting to see him back out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the man. No, <laughs> he's a good football player, uh, makes a lot of big plays for us. So a lot of us guys can learn from him, a lot of the young guys. So it's good to have him out here just competing and trying to make each other better. But you did notice that he seemed to get people. Oh, he always gets people going. Uh, he, like I said, one of the leaders on this team, and he may not have to say anything, just go out there and make plays, and like I said, lead by example as well. How do you describe the, the chemistry, the competition, the competition in the earnest starts now in the running back room, obviously, with somebody a rookie. What's the fine line, James, between teaching them but letting them learn? Uh, I mean, you try to help them as much as you can. Try not throw too much at them, but you just help them here and there after each rep. Just kind of coach them up a little bit on the side, but don't want to give them too much at one time so you can just go out there and play fast. It's just football at the end of the day. Just take your coaching points and once you're out there, just go out there and play fast. It's just football. James, what are the challenges that a young back like Sonny Michelle faces as he transitions to an NFL team? Oh, you just want to learn as much as you can, soak up as much as you can. Uh, I guess I just play fast, have fun. I think that's the most important thing, just having fun out there. You play football because it's fun. It can be stressful at times, but sometimes you just got to remember why you're out here, remember your why. I mean, just, just be the best player you can be. As you enter another year, are you starting to feel yourself transitioning more to a leadership role as you're kind of what you and Brandon are kind of the elder salesman and statesman in the group? Yeah, I just try and do as much as I can to help other guys, um, not even just my group, um, any position, young guys, just talk to them at the lunch table, dinner table, you know, just kind of make them feel at home, make them feel comfortable. I mean, just help them out as much as I can. Like I said, you never know who you're going to need at this point or later on throughout the year.